Hi Scorpio, welcome to your bonus read for the week. I'm going to be taking a look at the person on your mind and what they tell people about you. I'm going to pull three cards to start, clarify each card to give us some more insight. At the end of your reading, I'm going to pull three messages plus one bonus message from this person of what they're holding back from telling you. Now this is general and it may not resonate for everyone. If it does, go ahead and hit that like button. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel so you never miss an upcoming read. Now with that being said, let's go ahead and jump right in. Person on Scorpio's mind, show me what they tell people about Scorpio. Whoa, there goes the first card. I will get it in a second. Okay. Okay. So this person, we have the Six of Wands, the World card, and the Sun, which comes out like this. So they're feeling a little drained of their energy um or not sure if they make you entirely happy but they do tell people that you know you're somebody with a high reputation the center of like a spotlight the world sees you which makes them maybe even feel a little bit i don't want to say jealous but just like they don't get your attention the way that they want to have your attention um but they feel that you can be very loving um, flirtatious they want to court you take you on a date something like that they want things to be a win-win outcome between the two of you um, they've learned a lot from you and with the sign I feel like even some of you have made a point to be like I don't want more children or I'm not ready for children um, so that might be disappointing to this person in a way because maybe they're like looking at you scorpio as like i want to have your baby i want you to have my baby i <laughs> i want to have kids with you some of you are just like i'm too old to have children i can't have children anymore um so you know it's nice to have that idea it doesn't matter the age but it's like oh that's sweet I'm glad you feel that way but i'm i'm with you scorpio i'm like yeah me too i'm done i've done my time <laughs> as a parent so um they definitely feel that this could be such a good thing between the two of you you do make them happy they are drained sometimes um i wonder what that's about you know how when you are so energetically connected with someone you can feel drained because this person's having a hard time or you know just being around each other it just really pulls the energy out of both of you in that way but hmm, interesting so let's go ahead and clarify the six of cups also there's this should i propose some of you have been in a relationship with this person for a while and they're ready for the next step with you i'm not sure if you're going to say yes but like i'm going to go ahead and propose to them or i'm going to propose this idea or i'm going to pour my heart out to them and tell them how much i love them so be prepared if you have not received that just yet um any of those things that's what they plan on doing as well and they want all your closest friends and family there so let's go ahead and clarify Clarify the six of wands for some of you your family members and friends closest friends live at a distance or theirs do and so it's important for them to have all of the people that you love and that they love to be there for this moment so the moon comes out yes okay as well as the ten of swords at the bottom of the deck so oh why are they wanting you to end like your high reputation or yeah because they secretly want it to be over i don't feel a relationship over it's almost like they want you to stop getting so much attention from other people maybe you're just so popular you can't help it you shouldn't have to change anything about yourself if somebody is going to be with you then they need to accept you for who you are and love you for who you are right absolutely um the moon coming out here too there's another message that i see where this person's like i really want their attention i want them to recognize me i want them to recognize where i want things to go but you know they're not sure that they have all the answers and they feel like if they rush too fast it could create 
um, a permanent ending between the two of you. Oh, why does that feel like a friend that wants to ask you out as well? And if it's that, well, I want to propose to them, there's something about, but what if it just causes things to go the diff a different direction between the two of us? Huh, interesting. Let's go ahead and clarify the world card. So we have the moon and the ten of swords there. Let's clarify the world card. So we have the king of swords as well as the queen of pentacles. Um, they've given it a lot of thought. Wow. Okay, so some of you things kind of end or take a break between the two of you because I'm now picking up on that as well. For some of you, like things have kind of fell into a separation and they're wanting to discuss, you know, nurturing this connection back to what it was and proving to you that they can be a more kind and generous person, that they can show you that they really care um, whoever they tell this to, it really feels like they have this conversation with themselves or someone close, like a parent, um, or a mentor, but it really feels like they sit there and they're like, should I do this? And then they tell themselves no, or they tell themselves, I've got to wait and see where things go. Um, wanting to unite the two of you, they feel like it would create this law and order and balance because this king of swords is, is about, you know, the truth. And the truth is that they really, yeah, see some of you, they want to have a child with you or they want you to have their child and they know that's not what you want or you've said, I don't want that anymore. But there's something about like, well, I want this. Just because it's what they want, it doesn't mean it's exactly what you want if you've made it clear to this person, I don't want more children or I don't want children right now or I can't have children, you know? And even if you're older and like, I can't have kids or you're saying I'm barren, I can't have children, um, whether, you know, or sterile or whatever, uh, male or female, doesn't matter the gender, but there's something about they want to adopt or, you know, they want your kids to be their kids something like that. So some of you have children and they really want to bring like a blended family kind of like unite the two of you and make things very balanced and show you that they love you and your your children and vice versa. Like if they have kids, they want you to, to love theirs. There's something that tells me like, I don't know if they would, meaning this is what they think. Like, I don't know that Scorpio would really want this because they told me before like, I don't know. Also, the overthinking things is what's also exhausting them. So let's go ahead and clarify the sun. The wheel of fortune, as well as the queen of cups at the bottom of the deck. So they do feel drained. Like this is destiny coming in and fate has handed them this beautiful person, which is you, a queen of cups. Someone so loving, and I really want to be with Scorpio. I want to make it happen. Um, but there's a little bit of hesitancy. And also, if you are a public figure or you are in the spotlight of some kind and you have a high reputation, they're keeping it a secret that they they want that to end. Like, I, I don't want that. Well, you can't be with somebody and tell them, I don't want you to be the person that I fell in love with. I want to mold you to what I want you to be now. Um, Cause that tells me it's a little bit of like, either they're introverted or that they're a little jealous that you get attention and they worry about what, and they're going to say like, I don't worry about you doing something wrong. I worry about other people. Well, here's the thing. Other people can say whatever they want, but if you trust your person, you shouldn't have any doubt. You should have no fear that your person is going to be nothing but faithful. So that's always bothered me. And I know that some pe it's some people's insecurities, like, well, I'm insecure about this, and so I feel like I could lose you to this person or somebody else. But if you trust your person, you shouldn't have that doubt in them. You know what I mean? 
So it's just, I, it keeps coming back to that message and it feels like something really important for y'all to know. Um, they do have a plan. That plan is to be with you. They feel like destiny has given them this, but it's also very draining. Um, maybe destiny has given them a second chance and they want it to happen. And they want to show you nothing but love. Some of you, it's like they want a second chance from you when you two have been in a separation. So let's go ahead and get three messages plus one bonus message from this person on your mind of what they're holding back from telling you. Ooh. So the first thing that comes out is I regret lying to you. So if they lied to you about something and you knew it, but you didn't have confirmation, they do regret it. Um, telling you the truth, they feel like it would end things, but it's the right thing to do. So we really hope that they do. It would be better. Just tell the truth, right? Um, so the next one is I can't stop thinking about you. That's because of they are feeling you know, the karma of the situation or the guilt of the situation as well. Um, lying to you about something and even telling you like, oh, I love that, you know, you're such a strong, independent person and you built this kind of life for yourself. But then underneath it all, they're hiding the fact that they want you to end that situation. And that is a lie. Um, they have to trust you. They just have to, or it's going to ruin everything and can't stop thinking about you. You're constantly on their mind um trying to make a plan for you and them i wonder if you are happy without me so like i said i got a couple of different stories from your reading scorpio so the messages will not all apply to everyone so only take what resonates with you and leave the rest okay so i wonder if you are happy without me some of you are in a separation and so they want to know you know are you over me or not over me and it does drain their energy to think that you could be happy without them. Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. Wow. So you're constantly on their mind. And I get that some of you, you know, this is, I can't stop thinking about you. I think I want to be with you. I'm making a plan and I'm going to propose this idea to you or I'm going to propose to you. I want things to be moved to the next level between the two of us. But then I have the other messages also of, you know, regret of lying to you. And wondering if you're happy without them so that falls into the two stories that came out for your reading and this is what i have for you so if it resonates go ahead and hit that like button i will see you in your next reading coming up have a good rest of your day bye